Hi, I'm Inky Willis. I'm author of the Scribble Witch books. So, oh, wrong one. Here's the first one, Scribble Witch Notes in Class. The next one, Scribble Witch Magical Muddles. And I'm so excited to show you number three. Here we have it, it's out now. And this is Scribble Witch Paper Friends because Notes the Scribble Witch is about to meet someone very, very interesting who also happens to be made out of paper. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read you the first chapter from this and then right at the back there is a drawing page. It shows you how to draw Gliffy, her papyrus paper friend. So I'm going to show you how to do that so you can draw your very own ancient Egyptian paper friend. Chapter one. This is my class. That's Molly there, it says me. Right on the other side here, it says silence, snotlings. And that funny hole there is where my best friend used to be. Chloe left Dungfields to go to Lady Juniper's school for girls. But it's okay. We still write notes to each other all the time, thanks to our other friend, who, by the way, just happens to be a little paper witch. She's a bit of a mystery. I just kind of found her. She was drawn on a bit of paper, stuck inside this tatty old dictionary. I cut her out and ta-da, that's her. And that is Captain Perkins, her little cat. She's invisible to other people and just really, really amazing. She flies our notes about and she talks in notes too. And I bet you can't guess what she's called. Notes. This is one of her notes that I keep in my pencil case because I like it so much. I is so happying when friendling Molly does curvy banana shaped happy lips. I mean, how cute is that? Chloe and I have to be careful though. She's only tiny and very fragile. So rule number one is this. We never ask notes and Captain Perkins to deliver notes if it's raining. Not since we very almost had a humongous tragedy. Water and paper do not mix or they mix too well. Either way, we don't want our paper friend turning into a mushy pulp. Anyway, rain is a no-no, more than a no-no. It's a no, 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 never, ever no. So when we had a few rainy days, I didn't write to Chloe at all. This was the last note she sent before the rain came. Molly, no more notes. Sky's getting dark, might rain. I repeat, danger, no more notes. P.S. What are you having for lunch today? Love, Chloe, kiss. And then it did rain. It rained, then stopped, then rained, then stopped for three whole very annoying days. So I couldn't write back and that was extremely rubbish. On rainy day number two, I was busy sighing and grimacing when Notes wrote this. Is you down in the dumpings because of no Chloe Notes? So then I felt bad because I was down in the dumpings, I mean dumps even though I absolutely shouldn't have been. I had a magic scribble witch in my pen pot and the cutest little mini cat to stroke, so what more did I want? I wrote back, I'm fine, kiss, but I'm pretty sure she knew I was lying. And there's her suspicious face. And by rainy day three, I couldn't hide it anymore. I was sitting with my friend Emily in the book corner and I could feel my face doing that dull-eyed thing cows do when they're chewing grass. And my body was all slouched over like a zombie, one with really heavy shoulders. Emily was too busy reading to notice and there's Molly looking all zombie cow slouchy. We were sharing a book called Mysteries of Ancient Egypt because ancient Egypt is our new class topic. We've got to do independent research for our independent projects. And there's their book that they're sharing. I'm okay with this, but Emily is in total project heaven. How my project will look, how Emily's project will look. So, we were both holding the book and Emily was going, ooh, and whoa, and wow, at literally every sentence. Not me though, I didn't really care what had happened to that big lost maze, or the gold-faced king, or that big no-nose lion thing. What I cared about was what Chloe was up to. Anyway, I must have looked really grim because notes flew over on her magic pencil to give me a nose hug. That's what she does when I'm sad. 
Afterwards, she stayed close by, playing dust ball football with Captain Perkins. Did I mention he's magically invisible too? Oh, and he's also sometimes a pencil topper. It's complicated. Molly, are you even listening? said Emily, who had possibly been talking at me for quite a long time. Uh, sorry, was thinking about, uh, I said. Well, pay attention, she sighed. I'm trying to help you improve your project. Oh, thanks, I think. Emily gets irritated with me quite a lot. I like her and I think she likes me, but we're very, 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 times by forever, different. And we definitely annoy each other a bit. I once asked Emily to tell me her top 10 annoying things about me, because I really like top 10s, and she said I was being utterly ridiculous again. So then I wrote it anyway and I just pretended I was her. Top 10 annoying things about Molly Mills, as if I'm Emily. 10. Molly is utterly ridiculous. Emily is the only person I know who says utterly. 9. Molly often gets hard maths questions right by total accident. False. I'm just quite good at maths and Emily hates it when I know stuff she doesn't, even though it doesn't happen very often. 8. Molly's pencil case looks shifty. My pencil case looks fabulous. 7. Molly is sometimes careless and makes silly mistakes just because she doesn't bother to concentrate. This literally never happens. 5. Molly is very occasionally very slightly grouchy. Only for very good reasons. 4. Molly keeps writing notes in class. Can't argue with that. 3. Molly sometimes forgets to learn her spellings. We have different priorities. 2. Molly is a trouble magnet. To be fair, this is mostly a problem for Molly. 1. That's it. There is no number 1. Molly is really not very annoying at all. Anyway, by this point Emily had worked out I wasn't reading or listening. If you're not interested, I'll have this, she said, and she took the book for herself, bit rude. And I couldn't be bothered to argue, so instead I did the zombie cow thing again, and I stared at my knees. They weren't very interesting, not until Note started writing on them with her magic pencil. Want to play dust balls with me and Captain Perkins? I shook my head. I was too mopey to play. Rain was still pinging off the windows and I was so certain this would be another rubbish day. But get this, I was so wrong because just then there was a neat tat tat knock on the classroom door. Come in, sighed Mr Stilton. The door opened. Mrs Oddmans, the school secretary, was standing there and she wasn't alone. Mr Stilton, she said, you have a new pupil. That's how Mrs Oddmans says new pupil. A girl stepped forward and offered to shake Mr Stilton's hand. It was a grown-up kind of move and she reminded me of someone but I couldn't think who. Steady eye contact, confident smile, straight back. Hmm. Hello, she said. I'm Emily, and I'm utterly delighted to meet you. Utterly. Who did I know that said utterly? Oh, who cared? Either way, new pupils are the best. And thanks to Emily, zombie cow Molly was turning back into excited, normal human Molly. Woo! From this to this. And there we have it. Okay, stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to draw someone very exciting who crops up later in this book. And there she is, a very mysterious ancient Egyptian scribble witch.